Hey guys, what is up, Mitch? You're coming with Battlefield 4 gameplay commentary. We're on high numbers right here, and we're using some classes in the M24. And the uh, trick to winning on this map is if you control C, you can win the match, or at least you increase your chances. Right? Go ahead, pick up this guy. We know he's hiding. We've seen his legs are like. And I'm playing kind of passive here in this game, and it's because I'm using an LMG. They nerfed uh, belt fed LMGs pretty damn hard in this map. Or, um, in the uh, latest patch for this game. So I go for the reload here. And the spread's an issue, and you're gonna see an example of it here. Part of it's my aim, but you know, part of it also is I got 100 rounds, I'm not gonna put it this here, and I'm just spray the shit out of this guy and kill him. I think with a carbine, I probably could kill him a hell of a lot more faster. Fast forward a little bit later in the game, and I'm kinda camping here because I'm looking for an opportunity to Getting squad assist counts is killed, or I'm sorry, assist counts is killed. Go for the reload. And I'm just looking for that opportunity to drop the bipod down. We get an explosion, we jump through it. Uh, this hole in the wall here, we drop down. And either the enemy team or someone on my team threw a uh, smoke grenade down. So we're going to take advantage here and we're just going to chill and see how things go here. We're waiting to see more enemy players come up here and we're hoping we can ambush somebody. So I'm being patient. No sooner I turn around, here's this guy. But I start hearing some suppressor shots, so I know there's another player here. Take him out. Kill that enemy player. This player here pops up and starts shooting at him. We didn't get the kill, we got an assist, but no, hey, our teammate here had our back, so it's all good. And fast forward later in the game here, this was the opportunity I was looking for. Things have kind of settled down here. I can afford to um, drop this bipod down. And this is the issue with a bipod, you know, you're setting yourself up for stationary. But because you're stationary, you get a hell of a bonus to accuracy. There seems to be some uh, debris in the way, so I'm not able to kill these guys, but I can suppress the shit out of them. So I get, you know, two suppression assists. Go for the reel, I throw my ammo box on because I want to be able to resupply myself. We uh, were able to detect this guy, he's hiding in the back, and we start laying in and we got hit by the resistance. We know what we're doing. So nothing in the way, we shoot the shit and we get the kill on him. And we're just looking for him. Kind of unlucky, I kind of wish there was no of those trees in the way, but I could have had three guys, but whatever. Um, there's an LAV, he's coming across the middle, he doesn't even know we're here, so we're just sitting on him and we should pop him. Throw two C4 charges on this guy, kill him, get him out of the way. And we go back over here. This time we have E this time. And I'm looking over to D, a little bit of foreshadowing because I'm feeling like I could get pushed from there. So I have to move my headset. And I'm looking over there, but you know, there, there's nothing immediate coming from there. And then I spot an LAD. Spot some infantry in the back. I see uh, an attack boat. There's nothing I can do with an, with an light machine gun. I mean, I can take one and let them know where I'm at, but pretty much I can do it. I'm just looking for infantry to shoot at. So I know my squad's in a bad way. I know they're not exactly happy with the situation they're in, but there's not much I can do for these guys. So it's kind of a, a crummy situation for all here. I'm wanting to help them. I'm, I'm just spotting. I'm hitting the right bumper. I'm trying to keep these guys spotting. trying to keep the LAV. Help my team out a little bit so they don't have to worry about where he is, they know where he is. Shoot out some infantry here. And there's nothing I can do. I, I, there's too much shit in the way. I can't do much with this gun at long range. I start taking fire on the back here. I pop up. And I drop the bipod down here. I'm trying to kill this guy. I get eight or nine people. This guy's I don't know how he does it. I ended up burning through all my ammo, I go for the reload, and I get a knife in the throat. You know, that's the disadvantage sometimes of a bipod. Um, can get you killed, there's nothing you can do about it sometimes. Fast forward later in the match, we kill that recon player, and we mop Use up around the hotel soon. We're looking around, we're hitting right bumper, I'm doing everything I can, looking for targets. We see that scout heli, but I hide behind the tree here, I'm on no bugs in the path. We see somebody run up the catwalk, up the corner. See this guy running by that uh, beach house. We lay him out after dropping the bipod. We're gonna leave the guy on the catwalk to our teammates. We see this. We see another person running up here. We take shots at him. Our teammates finish him off. Uh, we save just the trouble. Just the trouble. Uh, drop the bipod, and we're we're now deciding right, we're gonna go for D. And then this little sequence of events. This is uh, an example of doing it right and also doing it wrong with the bipod. So I get right here by this. Um, uh, by this tree in this bush and drop the bipod down. I know my team is going to get some more. Start laying down fire. 
again, the squad assist counts as kill. Another player pops up to the middle team and starts shooting at him for the kill. And this is where everything kind of goes wrong. I get too aggressive. I go for the reload. It doesn't look like everything's going to go wrong, but it does start to go wrong. And even though they have nerfed uh, belt-fed LMGs, especially hard like the MT40, these guns can still rock people at a distance. It's just, you're way more situational. We're laying down fire, we're just tap-firing this guy from the long distance. Kill him, kill on him. I tried to get the second guy, I probably could have got him, but I got to kill him. I got to to death, so I pop up here, I'm looking for him. I finish this bastard off. I get shot in the back, I don't know what shot me. Must have been the boat. So I go for the reload here, and you know, I, I'm thinking there's people on that island. I feel like I'm gonna get pushed, so I get nervous, and I take off running here, wanting to hide behind those shipping containers. No sooner I take off, you know, somebody from the enemy team is already on the island with me. I'm trying to get him out. happening? I get a 12 gauge frag round to the face. There's nothing I can do against that. Very, very annoying. Nothing I can do. But I want to capture this flag. I know our team is pushed up here. I know our squad's here. So I spawned back on my squad. Laying down fire here. I ended up trading this guy. Pretty disappointing result, but you know, whatever. Sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. And I'm going to spawn here once more. And I'm thinking, all right, third time's the charm. This will give me a chance to get it going here. We only got two guys here on the flag. It's going to be a third with me. Spawn on our squad the ammo. Pick it Drop up. down the ammo box next to him. Feel my like feet flanked here. Lay down some fire. Kill this guy. And our squad leader gets killed. So I end up popping up over this hill. Shoot this guy. I didn't have to put much lead in him because I was And then I get <laughs> I get 12 gauge fragged round again. There was nothing I could do. This guy was just at the right place at the right time at all times against me. And there was nothing I can do against him. And you know, close quarters with an LMG against a shotgun. There ain't nothing you can do. Fast forward from the game, they have the B flag. They're trying to, they're clawing their way back. This way. They're trying to win. I get shot in the back, so I'm pretty pissed off. Drop down. Only have 13 health. Our uh, team here and our squad backs us up. Shoots the shit out of this guy, gets him right away. And now I'm regenerating health, so I'm just saying, alright, 50 health, I'm gonna pop up here. And I'm gonna light these guys up. Spotting around, you know, hitting right bumper like that. So I'm just looking for targets. Spotted dude coming up from the water side. Play into him. We drop the bipod down. This jerk off tries to shoot me with a rocket launcher. So play into him. Bipod down. Kill his ass. And then we tap fire this third guy coming across the courtyard. Just in front of the flag. And I ended up going for the reload. I know they got our C flag, so I'm deciding, alright, I'm gonna try and cap that. I wanna get that back to my team. The sooner I take off, somebody pops up the minimap, I move more than one. Take aim here. Shoot this guy. The ADS here kinda of bites me. I probably could have killed those guys a lot faster, but you know, they nerfed the ADS. Gauge frag round. I couldn't take on the third guy. I mean, to take on those two, but the third one wasn't happening. And at this point, we fast forward later in the game. It's all a formality. We're going to win this match. There's no doubt about it. Um, I ended up getting killed. <laughs> I got killed earlier by this guy in the anti air grab, so I'm the uh, anti air gun, so I'm kind of pissed off. And I'm saying, alright, I'm going to C4 this fucker to get my fucking revenge on him. Run up here. He's not even paying attention. The so we got like, two charges on him. Blow his ass up. See you later, sir. Pull out the LMG and. <laughs> I ain't learned my lesson, I guess, from dropping the bipod down, so I get up on this hill and I'm just kind of creeping around looking for an opportunity. Sure enough, the enemy player pops out. They're just holding the right trigger and we're just leaning into this guy. We hit him. I get a little too ambitious. I'm trying to hit the guy on the back of the back of but I hit him a few times, but I didn't kill him. And then I got fucking uh, blasted by the attack boat. You know, way too ambitious on my part. I shouldn't have done it. But, you know, I got what I asked for. Had it coming. Should have knew better. Really, but you know that's just me being an idiot. And at this point, the um, the the game is pretty much well in hand. And I go ahead and I spawn in the LAV, and I'm I'm basically looking for garbage numbers. I'm looking for garbage kills. I'm trying to steal what I can at this point. So I hop in the LAV. And part of it also is I want to support my team. The LAVs, yeah, they're not as intimidating as a main battle tank like the Abrams or the T90s, but 
pretty damn good at supporting infantry. We've just taken objective Bravo. Around the corner here. We see an enemy player here that takes off line. We hit him at least once or twice. And we know there's two guys off to our left. We back this thing up. The good thing about the LAV, it, it makes up for its ability to just tra not trash vehicles as hardcore as a main battle tank with being a good spawn point. And it's a good spawn point because I had a spawn, I had a team on spawn. Probably if this was a desperate situation, I probably would have had multiple guys spawn. I have eyes on a hostile machine gun but, you know, to location. And this is pretty much how the game ends. I'm going up here to the A flag. I'm just saying, alright, I'm going to go ahead and just take away their, uh, their one of their last final spawn points that are going to make any kind of difference in this game. Alpha has and it's all, it's all she wrote from here. Finished the game 25 and 11. I probably could have done a hell of a lot better if I was using a PDW or a shotgun or a carbine. Or something like that, but um, unfortunately, the latest patch in Battlefield 4 has kind of ruined belt fed LMGs. You can't really do much with them, not as much as you used to. Um, pretty much, if you're going to use an LMG, you're going to use a magazine fed because the spread on, on belt fed is really ridiculous. So, a little disappointing that I finished 25 and 11. I kind of felt like I could have done way better, but you know, whatever. Can't, you, can't, you can't complain too much. Alright, guys. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.